Hello friends, welcome to another video here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's guide, we are going to be covering all of the details for how you're going to be able to access and obtain Spiritomb in Pokemon's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Spiritomb is a ghost and dark type Pokemon, very exclusive typing and very unique to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And you cannot catch this Pokemon, unfortunately, in the wild. Again, it is going to be another static encounter, a very unique encounter that you're going to be able to experience in diamond and pearl but it is going to be a little bit tricky to obtain it so within this guide i'm going to go through each and every step to kind of make it helpful and as easy as possible for you to obtain spirit tomb in your playthrough so as soon as you have access to salation town within the Sinnoh region you're going to have the ability to then try and get or obtain spirit tomb now once you are in salation town we're starting off at the pokemon center for reference you are wanting to head south and this will take you down onto route 209 you want to keep coming all the way down this path until you come across a little mini volcano looking item here that you'll be able to see and uh, once you've got there you can click on it nothing's going to happen you're going to need an item to activate this encounter with spiritum the item that we are looking for to activate this encounter is the odd keystone now there are a number of places you can get this within the Sinnoh region the first one is accessible straight away to you all and that will be going in the grand underground and just mining now this might be probably the most difficult way to obtain the odd keystone because it is just basically down to luck but if you mine enough you are going to be able to come across it eventually and use this item for the encounter the other locations where you're going to be able to access the odd keystone are in twin leaf town but you have to have access to surf so it means you need to be a little bit further along in your playthrough the other location is located in Hearthholm City if you exit the city and take route 208 you're going to be able to encounter an NPC character just after the gate here and he will give you an odd keystone as well so there are three locations three easiest ones I guess the underground is pretty difficult to get because it is just down to luck but two really accessible ways for you to obtain the odd keystone now once you've got the odd keystone you want to return back to Salacian town and head back to the hollowed tower now now once you're here with the odd keystone you can click the A button in front of it and you will drop the odd keystone down but again nothing will happen unfortunately you are going to have to do one more task before you're able to encounter spirit tomb and this one is very tedious uh, you have to visit the grand underground and you have to speak to 32 unique individual npc characters so 32 of them um, and it is going to take a little while and this is one thing that i would say where you're probably more likely to do this later on in your game when you've got access to more areas of the grand underground it is split into five areas and we'll just take a quick overview of that now for you. The Grand Underground is a huge place and somewhere you can easily get lost and get a little bit misinformed with how to access certain areas. Each area is split into five different sections. Now they don't cross over so you have to visit different areas around the Sinnoh map to actually access these different Grand Underground locations. Now the central area, what I'm calling area one, is accessible early on in your game or playthrough. You can access this primarily through Eterna City after getting the Explorer Kit and any other corresponding kind of central areas to the Sinnoh map. Now area two that I've highlighted here is only accessible through the post game after your post game now you're going to be able to access this by visiting the fight area all the corresponding kind of areas in the upper right hand corner of the Sino map then we've got area three this is going to be in the lower left hand corner of the map and this is going to be accessible yeah pretty much most of the the game because this is accessible through tin twin leaf town uh, which is your home town then and then you've got area four which is the top left hand corner of the map and and this is accessible through visiting Snow Point City. You're going to be able to visit the most northern town to visit that most northern location in the Grand Underground. And then we've got the final location, Area 5, which is a very central location, not very big at all, but only accessible 
through Celestic Town. So you'd have to visit Celestic Town and that will take you to this tiny little area in the center. But these are the five areas primarily making up the Grand Underground and these are how you can access them through locations in the Sinnoh region. Once you have encountered 32 unique characters, one way that I did it was to write down each individual NPC character's name and then tick them off as I go. And then I got a list of 32 names and I know I've encountered 32 NPC characters. I also just want to mention that the NPC characters, when you are hunting in the underground area, that if you enter a area where there are wild Pokemon spawning, and then you come back into the tunnel system, that will kind of reset where the NPCs are. Now, I don't know how correct this is of the time of recording. We may find out as we go further down the line, but I feel like there's about five cycles with the NPC characters with when you exit a room into a tunnel and vice versa, that resets where the NPC character will be in that tunnel stretch. So they will change location. This is why it's a good idea to just keep a note of those names because those same NPC characters can pop up in different locations. And you can kind of think that you've spoken to 32 when you might not have spoken to 32. And you just need to kind of stay on one tunnel system and then just exit and come back into it a number of times and explore that tunnel system extensively each time that you do come into it to make sure that you've got all of the NPC characters that are available in that one specific area. So once you've encountered those 32 NPC characters, you then come back to the Hollow Tower once again, and this time you will activate the encounter with Spiritomb and you'll be able to catch it and add it to your party. So friends, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have, please consider dropping a like on the video. And if you are enjoying our Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl content so far, don't worry we've got a lot more planned so make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the guides as they drop on the channel so thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all for the next one